Imagine crashing into a Tesla Model X just five feet from a police officer at a police roadblock. Well, you don't have to imagine it, we get to watch it. Robert was taking his son and some of his friends to a bar in Seagirt, New Jersey. Traffic up ahead was slowing down for a roadblock, protecting a parade that was passing by. Just as they passed a police officer standing on the side of the road, another driver rear-ended the Tesla at full speed. We can see the shock on the officer's face as the crash occurred. Once he'd realized what had happened, he called it in. Let's just say the cops were quick to arrive at the scene of the accident. Everyone involved was okay. Robert found out that the man who'd hit him had just been released from a drug rehab center. This was the second accident he'd caused that day. They charged the man with reckless driving for crashing into Robert. Robert is still waiting to see if the insurance company will total his car or not. We're guessing it's totaled, but what do you think? Leave a comment and we'll follow up with his insurance story in a future episode. Zawar was driving on Ontario Highway 401 when he hydroplaned and hit a van. That bump didn't look too bad, but it ended up costing 15,000 Canadian dollars, almost 12,000 US dollars, to get fixed. Zawar filed an insurance claim and his car is still at the repair center waiting for parts. Richard had parked his Model 3 outside his house in Augusta, Georgia. Around 5 a.m., some dude was sneaking around his neighborhood trying to get into parked cars. When he approached Richard's Tesla, the sentry mode lasers flashed and the screen displayed a message telling the guy he was being recorded. He got out of there as fast as possible. Richard showed this video to his neighbors and warned them against keeping valuables inside their cars overnight. Muhammad had his Model 3 parked on Howard Street in San Francisco when some thieves paid it a visit. And they weren't scared off by the lasers or even by passers-by. First, they broke into the car parked two cars behind Muhammad, and then they went after his Tesla. This is the second time in three weeks someone has broken into his parked car on the same street, and the thieves smashed the same small window both times. They used a flashlight to look into his trunk after folding the back seats down. Muhammad didn't have anything in his trunk this time either, so they just looked and left. His insurance deductible is 500 US dollars, and a new window costs about 545 when all is said and done. This will be the second time he has to pay to get his window repaired this month. We can't recommend the drop lock from Test Bros enough. We'll put a link to them in the description. They prevent thieves from being able to access the trunk. And they're brightly colored so thieves will hopefully spot them before breaking the window and just go away. This submitter confessed he was engaged in some active driving with an SUV on a highway in New York. When they took an exit, the SUV was going too fast and crashed into the barrier. Then they kept on driving like nothing had happened. Pastor Paul was driving his Model Y in Arizona when he narrowly avoided becoming part of a three-car pileup by driving onto the shoulder. Defender was dropping off his girlfriend at the train station in Zurich, Switzerland. The parking lot tends to be crowded this time of day, and parking spaces fill up quickly. While Defender was making space for a car to leave, another car went to take a parking spot that had just opened up. The driver signaled, but he didn't see a small scooter come up behind him in his blind spot. Oh wow, we have to see that again. The guy just kept on going like an action hero. Did he just walk off the scooter? What the heck even happened? Yossi was exiting a parking lot when some newlyweds passed in front of them with balloons flying off their car. I'm not sure it's a good idea to attach balloons to the wheels. Joshua was going from I-5 to State Route 55 when there was a traffic jam on the ramp. When the SUV in front of him braked suddenly, Joshua had to brake hard as well. You'll never guess what was behind him. Okay, maybe you can. Roll the jingle. Jump in! Honda bumped! 
Unfortunately, Joshua noticed the Honda about to hit him and released the brakes before the impact in a bid to reduce the damage. This actually worked, and the only damage done was to the paint on his bumper cover. Police never responded, so Joshua just contacted the Honda driver's insurance provider. As in most rear-end accidents, the insurance company agreed to pay for the repairs. David was driving on I-5 in Irvine, California, and a Mercedes was following behind a utility truck carrying a ladder in the carpool lane. All of a sudden, the ladder flipped off the truck and onto the freeway. The Mercedes narrowly missed hitting the ladder. Thankfully, no damage or injuries occurred. MD had parked his Tesla in front of a coffee shop and came back to find some stains on the door. After checking the sentry mode footage, he saw a man just toss some coffee on his door, apparently for no reason. MD didn't contact the police since there was no damage, but as soon as he finished cleaning it off, he thought, dang, I should send this to Wham Bam. MD asked us to shout out his brother Altair, who's been watching our videos for over a year now. We hope you're satisfied. Jessica was on her way to Puyallup, Washington to pick up her sons from a basketball camp when she came across these geese that decided to use a crosswalk properly, like humans sometimes do. Ha! <laughs> Smart animals! While we wait for them to cross, Jessica asked us to shout out her daughter Alina. Jim was taking the ramp to I-75 in Cincinnati, Ohio. When traffic slowed down, he stopped in time, but the driver behind him wasn't paying attention. When the police arrived at the scene, they found the other driver at fault. Her insurance covered the over 1,000 US dollars in damage to Jim's Tesla. Sarah was driving her Model Y in California when she saw the driver of a white car change their mind about exiting. Unfortunately, there was a police car in front of them and they quickly got pulled over. At first, Sarah thought she was being pulled over for not mounting her front license plate, like most Tesla drivers in California, but she lucked out this time. Mark was on his way to Redding, Pennsylvania. The driver of a Hyundai Genesis in front of him, which had been weaving a little for the last few miles, put on his turn signal and made a right turn from the left lane. This move caused him to execute an unintentional pit maneuver against himself on the front end of a bucket truck. Dave and his wife were driving home from a day at the beach when they witnessed a Kia run full force into a truck in the lane next to them. Dave stopped and made sure everyone was okay. Luckily they were, and the police were quick to arrive at the scene of the accident. Dave provided a copy of his Tesla cam footage. When the police officer saw it, he was grateful and said it made his job much easier. Dave also sent a copy to the family who'd been rear-ended. Apparently they just arrived in Florida for a vacation. I don't think this was the way they expected the vacation to start. This submitter had parked his Model X at Silver Lake Park in Dover. Watch what Sentry Mode recorded while he was away. After a car smashed into a wooden guard shack right behind the Tesla, two males, each carrying a backpack, exited in a hurry. One guy took the opportunity to document this event with his phone. It looks like our submitter wasn't the only one who found this situation suspicious. He sent the video to the police, but they never got back to him, so he has no idea what this was all about. This submitter was headed into Munich when the car in front of him slowed down for the driver of a Volkswagen attempting to make a sudden U-turn in the middle of the road. The driver didn't notice a Porsche while backing up and bumped right into it. It was literally the only other car parked there, so we have no idea how he missed it. The submitter's wife, who was sitting next to him, turned to him and said, I guess you finally caught your first wham bam moment. Kevin was heading into Fremont, California when a rogue Toyota Tacoma veered off into oncoming traffic and hit a sign before almost colliding with Kevin. The cops were called and they quickly arrived at the scene of the incident. Muhammad was driving his Model 3 in Norfolk, Virginia when a truck driver rolled coal on him before cutting him off. Muhammad backed off and kept his distance. He's watched enough Wham Bam Tesla Cam to know that Tesla hate is real. He'd only purchased his Tesla two days before and didn't want to get involved in any trouble. 
Jose was passing a Ford pickup when the truck suddenly jumped into his lane without signaling. Autopilot was engaged and sounded an alarm while moving to the left to avoid a collision. That's when Jose took over the car and accelerated to get in front of the Ford. Later, the same pickup driver caught up with Jose and brake checked him unprovoked. Jose doesn't know if this was a Tesla hater or just a case of random road rage. What do you think? Let us know in a comment. Jeffrey was driving his Model 3 late one night northbound on Highway 281 in San Antonio, Texas. As he rounded a blind corner, he saw a driver stopped in the middle of the highway making a U-turn. It looks like police were waiting for the vehicle up ahead, so the driver decided to make a U-turn to evade them. Jeffrey says the police must have been behind the car as well, as evidenced by the red and blue lights in the distance. Hopefully they were able to stop the suspect before anyone was hurt. Andrew was driving on Swan Avenue in Tampa, Florida with a large group of cyclists heading toward him. They were holding up traffic and one of them came very close to dropping a wheel on Andrew's frunk. Since there wasn't any damage, he didn't call the police. He says this group frequently appears to roam around Tampa as he's seen them in various areas near downtown before. James stopped at a red light in Los Angeles, California when two street performers started juggling in front of his Model Y. James recently took delivery of his Tesla and has already started a YouTube channel with his girlfriend about it. James sent us a link to his channel, Tessie Vibes, and it has some really cool high production videos. What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. And if this is your first time, welcome to the channel. My name is James. My beautiful girlfriend would be right there. Her name's Dulce and this is Tessie Vibes. We make videos all about our new 2022 Tesla Model Y. Check it out. Manolo was driving in Merida, Mexico on a Sunday afternoon when he stopped at an intersection. Suddenly, a local dance troupe came and started to perform. Manolo had to back off a little to give them some room. He was impressed that they were dancing every time the light turned red, especially considering the outside temperature was around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Sim was leaving the Tesla Service Center in Plano, Texas when the guy in front of him entered an intersection without yielding to traffic. A forerunner barely missed the SUV, which proceeded to get hit by a semi. Christian was driving his Model 3 down a highway in Denmark when a Mercedes suddenly overtook him before losing some bicycles at 80 miles per hour. Luckily, there was no damage and the highway was quickly cleaned up. Another Tesla backed up from a private house and bumped into this submitter's parked Tesla. Thanks to sentry mode, he managed to track down the other Tesla driver after they left without leaving a note. Would this be a Tesla tap? Come on, man. That other Tesla owner had to know they were gonna get caught. Josh was driving his Model 3 in Los Angeles, California when a Porsche sped off when the light turned green in the opposite lane. That's when a minivan turned and the Porsche crashed straight into it. Martin was on his way back to Spain from Sweden, traveling north on the German Autobahn when a van started losing control of the trailer it was pulling. The trailer jackknifed, and I'm not surprised. It sure looks pretty heavily laden. This emitter was eating at a restaurant in Jakarta, Indonesia, when all of a sudden, he heard my voice. He looked around and noticed that a kid in front of him was watching the latest Wham Bam video. This is so cool. We're going international. Mr. 305 Worldwide. <coughs> Mr. 305 Worldwide. 
Remember a few months ago when Tesla released the light show feature and a Tesla owners group met up and performed the world's largest synchronized light show and sent us a video? Well, we challenged them to do it again, but with the Wham Bam intro music. Six months later, we got an email that said, challenge completed. Wham Bam Tesla Cam, I hope you're satisfied. Wow, take a look at that. It might not be the most synchronized light show, but still, wow. This was one of the coolest submissions we've ever received. Let's go. <laughs> Look at this kid rocking out. And it even looks like some other EVs got in on it. We didn't know that the Mach-E had a light show. Or is that the owner sitting in his car flashing the lights? We don't know, but the Tesla Model 3 owners group in Quebec is hands down the best Tesla group out there. Thanks, everybody. Come on! Wham, bam, wham, bam, Tesla cam. Are you satisfied?